go ahead and leave the rock, just cover this up and leave the rock or something off. We got one more student that has to do it. Okay. So we're gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to squeeze them in Thursday. And then you guys can all do this for yourself or something. Yeah, what happened to that okay. other kid that was in our group? What was his name? Devin? Yeah. No. Thomas? Thomas. Yeah, he's, uh, I think, in a switch to auto or something. Um, Guys, it's just diesel in training. Yeah, he, I think he won the easier path. Uh, I don't know, Jacob, would I be better off going to like uh, some places a loop tech for a year or two? Because a lot of these places require some sort of two yeah, years I mean, experience. When you're, when you're going through the staffing company, yes. If you go through our guys at the advisory committee, no, because they know what you've been through. I don't know anyone right now that's hiring, per se. Entry level, I guess. Steve always gets emails. He's the one to ask. I asked Steve and uh, he hasn't. Uh, I don't think there's been an advisory committee meeting we so have, far, no, to my knowledge. For a long time, but they're still always in touch. They're always emailing back and forth. Okay. I'm not in that loop. Uh, I, I'm uh, with a few. I am, but not. Uh, I'll I'll go bug Steve some more then, probably. Now, I don't know anyone. I, you know, Rexius was Anthony got a uh, job there. Reeds is always hiring. Reedsville Transport, Fountain Cobra, uh, Levi, uh, yeah, Levi that works for them. It's brutal. I mean, they work a lot of hours. It's usually, I think they do 412s or 512s, swing shift. That, that shop goes 24-7. There's 12-hour day shift, 12-hour night shift, seven days a week. There's never a lack of hours. Never I like that. Never a lack of hours. I like that. A lot of overtime, a lot of, you know, a good paycheck. It kind of sucks getting sucked in that. Because you may not make a lot of hourly wage, but if you're working, it's on overtime. When you want to go get a better job, you know, then you have to get on overtime. You take a pay cut. Yeah, right Right now with me doing uh, respite hours, I'm making 16 bucks an hour just filling out paperwork overnight for the most part. Yeah, so I think Levi's making 16 or 18 bucks an hour. And then, you know, overtime's time and a half. So we're going yeah. to go over here mid, mid 20, not the 20. And is over, in Oregon, is overtime calculated daily or is it weekly? Uh, 40 hours, I think, now, or, or over eight. It kind of depends. Or some or both. Pepsi was both. So if you went over eight hours, you got overtime, even if you didn't get 40 in a week. Or if you went over 40, you got overtime. Some places, you have to be over 40. In, in Nevada, they were really strict. Because if, if you were to clock in like like five minutes late one day, work eight hours, and then clock back in at your regular time, You'd have five minutes of overtime just because within that 24-hour period, you technically work more than your your eight hours. And then the other thing we get is um, a lot of times we get swing shift in graveyard differential pay. So you have more money for those crappy shifts. Fifty cent dollar an hour or something. That's worth it. Yeah, right. Yeah, 12 hours. That's 12 hours. You're getting swing shift, day shift, and graveyard differential. And if it's a weekend shift, woo! Yeah. yeah, they seem to always be hard. Uh, Dust brothers. Well, I don't know. Our guy's always got to sleep. Nothing, brothers? Yeah. And is that, is that a fleet? Yeah, that's a big fleet. Nice trucks, a lot of blue, long trucks, and those. We start looking at blue trucks. Is that the one on the Uh, No, that's the red. They're dark blue. Yeah, that's, I love that's, that's where uh, Colton's at. I think his family works there or something. Uh, no, Colton's at 